everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Di. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Mimeograph Monday with a twist. If you are new, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So today for my Mimeograph Monday with a twist, I'm going to be doing a card um, off of the online exclusives. Because I thought I should, for a while, kind of concentrate on the online um, thingies because I think I feel that they're easier to forget about, totally miss, um, not even know they're there, you know, because we're so used to looking at the catalog and there's so much now online and not in the catalog. Some of the stuff is mentioned in the catalog like it'll show a sample and then it'll tell you what the name of the stamp set is and then you can um, go look for it um, I like that and at the same time I'm not a fan um, I've been a demonstrator for over 25 years and it's hard I always like what is it it's hard to make an old dog new learn new tricks and that's kind of me I'm an old dog in regards to Stampin' Up I'm used to the old-fashioned way and I love, you know, the catalogs. But at the same time, I like the online stuff because then we don't have to wait for a printed catalog um, in order to get something new. You know, there's like new stuff coming out all the time. And before we would have to wait till the catalog came out. Sometimes that would mean two years because Stampin' Up! works so far ahead um, at, the, at the catalog. Um, so anyway, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to um, kind of concentrate on those and hopefully you, you like that idea. Um, what's a little bit different is in regards to the recipes, I don't think that, that the recipes are there. I didn't really try to look too hard. Um, so I'm just trying to figure it out just by looking at it. And if I'm not identical, I'm not going to be too worried about it. Um, I'm just going to have fun. That's the whole fun about it. I still will do two projects though. So I'll be doing um, my, um, so I can't say catalog version. This will be the online store version. And then I'll do my twist on it. And uh, so that, that'll still be the same. Um, so if there's ever anything that you want me to see or if you have any questions, I am watching um, the live premiere with you in the chat room. So head on over to the chat room. I'm over there. And if you have any questions, I can answer them. If you are watching the replay, just ask a question below, comment below. YouTube will let me know and then I can reach out to you. All right, so I think that's all I wanted to blabber about at the beginning. Um, all right, so close your eyes just for a minute while I get my camera adjusted. So we're gonna be using the Filled With Fun and it is so cute. And it has a coordinating die, so we're gonna be using that as well. And so like I said, these are online exclusives. And what's neat is we have a new filled with cheer. So I can't wait to play with this one. And this, the die that goes with the filled with fun coordinates with this. So it will cut out the, um, the wagon and the wheel. Um, I need to play with, yeah, I don't think it will cut that out. That looks too long. But, um, but anyway, so that's kind of cool. Um, so let me get this away because I'm just going to be using the filled with the f with fun. But I wanted to let you know and remind you about the filled with cheer that does coordinate with it. So I love that. So this is what we're going to use today. All right. So where is it? Here it is right here. So this is the little card. And I just thought it was so cute. So that's what I'm going to, um, that's what I'm going to make. All right, so we have, so like I said, I'm just going to, I'm just trying, I'm going to guess how, how the stuff was used, and it's going to be good. All right, so we have crumb cake <clears throat> as our card base, and then we have some of the Zinnia Designer Series paper that's going to go on the card too. And it's kind of at an angle here. So it just kind of goes at an angle. 
And then we have our focal point right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of stamping and we're going to do some die cutting as well. All right, so I need my this little piece here. All right, so this is my main piece that's going to go on the card. So we're going to kind of build our scene on here, but I'm also going to do some die cutting. So I want some pecan pie. And that's going to be my wagon. But so that I get my wagon in place, I'm going to stamp one wheel. Now, like I said, this is just me, you know, kind of figuring stuff out. All right, so I'm just going to take my memento with one of the wheels, and I'm going to stamp it right there. So, because I know I want my wheel to be along the bottom of the card. So then I'm going to take my wagon with the pecan pie, or pecan pie, wherever you live, and I'm going to stamp my wagon right here. So now I know where my other wheel goes, because the wheels are individual. It's not like it's a, they're two wheels so you exactly know how far and then this way I know where to stamp my wheel so I can um, all right so I also want my flowers so I also now will know because I've got my wagon there where to stamp my flowers and they're gonna go can you see the camera's right in my way so my flowers are going to go right there. All right. So there's our kind of our focal point. But what I want to do is I'm going to put my wagon on here. We're going to die cut it out. So I've got my wagon. And then I'm going to take some Poppy Parade. Ooh, almost picked the white one. That would not be good. All right, so I got my poppy parade for our banner. Okay. So now I'm going to take it over to my machine and I'm going to die cut these out. Okay, so I've die cutted these out. Let me get these dies out of here. And I'll just use that post-it note tape to kind of hold them in place. And you can find that on my blog under my favorite things on the top. All right, so I'm going to just set those there. Sometimes it leaves a little bit of a um, tacky. So you can just kind of rub it. Or if you have one of those eraser um, Oh my gosh, we used to have, have them in the catalog. The little eraser, it'll take that off. Okay, so now I have this. So we're going to bring this over. We're going to color this. We're also going to do a little um, heat embossing. So let me do that first. So that's why I have the white out, the white pad. So I want my white embossing powder. And my greeting. So this is just the you make my heart bloom. Okay. And then now you could use Versamark or you could use the white. I usually do the white because then I can see where I was a little better. Um, also, the white will air dry. So if you don't have embossing powder, it will air dry and then you'll still be able to see that white. Um, it'll just, it just won't be as, um, it will be embossed obviously so it won't stick out and shine, but you'll still be able to read it. 
All right, so let me get my little tool here and we'll heat set that. So once it starts to um, cook, we'll move it to the next section. Move it on to the next. And once it's heat, heated, then stop so you don't um, scorch it into the paper. So this is part of that, um, this tool. You have the little, um, the little tray, you have the holder, you have your little embossing buddy, and I just have that little clip on it. Um, you have a brush. Um, it seems like there was something else. But anyways, but you can get that um, from my online store. Okay, so we have the You Make My Heart Bloom. All right, so let's color our little flowers. Now, I'm just going to simply color them like they had in the catalog. My twist, of course, you know, will be a little fancier. But all right, so we have, I'm just using daffodil. So they didn't do it super fancy. But this is a cute set. These little flowers are so fun. They're the perfect size to color. Okay. And then they had um, lemon lime, I guessed, and we have the new um, Shy Shamrock. That's kind of what it looked like to me so that our flowers weren't all the same. Okay, so two lemon lime because the... Um, this paper has some lemon lime in it, so it's kind of nice to have that lemon lime in your card somewhere. All right, and then we'll just color these. There we go. All right. So let's bring our wagon over. So now this wagon is going to go right here. So it's going to pop a little bit because I'm going to put it on with dimensionals. Um, but I, that's why I stamped it here. Now we could pop it with dimensionals so it came out more because you would still see it underneath there. So I might do it with dimensionals. And then I'll show you the card I did earlier where I just glued it with um, glue dots. And then you can decide if you'd want it to be popped or not. So I, since I know right where it's going to glue, um, I can put my dimensionals on here instead of here. Because we're just going to plop that right on there. That's just going to give this a little dimension to it. And then you have the fun little banner. And I'm just going to use some two, or a uh, combo glue, green tip glue, and we're just going to glue the little banner right to our wagon. I'll just hold it for a second while that adheres. And I didn't glue the center so that it kind of has a little um, dimension to it. Okay. I'm going a little faster, so you're doing it you would be holding this longer than I am da, 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 da. sing 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 a song all right I can always add more if it's not gonna stay all right now this is also stuck on here at an angle as well and I'm just gonna put some green tip glue on there And then we have You Make My Heart Bloom. So I need to trim and trim. And then this goes straight.
straight right across there. So I'm going to use some glue dots to put that on. So I'm looking at my side here. Because if I look at all of these with all the angles, then it's it's hard to make that be straight, right? Because your your eye wants to go, well, you know, like try to figure it out. But so look how cute that is. All right. So it very looks it looks like this pretty good. It might not be identical, but it's close enough. Here's the one I did earlier, so you can decide if you like. Um, so I popped this one up on this one. So I popped this one. I didn't tear. This one I glued it directly with the, uh, glue dots. This one I popped it. So I kind of popped them in different places so you can decide like, you know, what you like best. I'll have to put the gems on. Hold on a minute. It has the adhesive, I can't, didn't even spell adhesive right, backed shiny sequins. I forgot. All right, so we've got a little bit of sequin, sequin, and sequin. All right, there we go. I can't believe I forgot those. All right. For my twist, I wanted to use some different designer series paper. So this is from the Latte. This is, it has the coffee stuff, and I believe that is online um, as well. And this is like splatteries, and I thought this looked like um, dirt splatters. So I thought it was perfect to go with the flowers. All right, so I did some of the die cutting ahead of time. I'm also using the countryside corner die. And I wanted a smaller greeting, so I'm using the keeping tabs for my greeting on the outside of the card. I think everything else is pretty much the same. I did um, die cut out my flowers. I die cut it out my wheels. And I also did a little poppy parade heart to match my poppy parade um, ink. And I also stamped and added a little um, daffodil to the handle of the wagon because that is one of the other little dies that's in there. All right, so let's get to, to my card. All right, so before I put this on here, I'm going to do a little um, blending brush with my um, balmy blue. So I just want to put a little balmy blue kind of in the background here. Just for a little bit of um, sky. And then on the bottom, I'm going to take my crumb cake, because I'm using crumb cake as my card base. So I'm going to take some crumb cake, and we're just going to draw a little bit of ground there with the light and the dark. I don't want it to be perfect, because it's, it's just dirt, right? All right, so that's going to go on there. So just like before, I'm going to do um, a little bit of stamping on here so I can kind of get um, where my stuff's going to be. So I have my little flowers, and I already die cut them out. So they're going to go on here. So I want my little wagon to go here because I want my little tires to go there. So I kind of am just visualizing where I want everything to go and that looks pretty good. So let's put our little wagon. And then hopefully I'm putting it in the right spot. 
let's see. Did she do it? Did she do it? Because this is going to go here. I have my wheel. I think that looks good. And then my flowers. <gasps> Perfect. All right. That, this way, it's just going to help us place our things later. All right. What I also want to do, I want to add a little bit of color to my wheels, my flowers. I'm even going to add a little color to my wagon. And I mentioned this the other day that I like to add after, um, you know, stamping with like a, especially if it's a solid image, I like to take its coordinating blend and add a little bit more. So this is um, pecan pie. So I'm going to take my light pecan pie blend and I'm going to add a little bit on the top here just so it has a little dark on those sides there. And it will kind of blend in, but it will just give a little more dimension to our wagon, almost like that wood grain. So now you've kind of got you know, a wood, a green like look to it. And I'm going to get my dark as well and add a little bit dark. And that's just going to just, you know, give my wagon a little bit of um, three dimension. All right, so let's bring our wheels over. And I'm going to have my wheels be um, colors that the flowers are. We're going to pretend that everything is all coordinated. <laughs> so I'm going to use my dark lemon lolly. And I'm just going to color in that. Would that be considered a hubcap? I don't know. But that's dark lemon lolly. I'm also going to do my flowers this time are going to be yellow. So this is just that dark lemon lolly, and I'm just going to color them all in. And then we're going to use the daffodil, the dark daffodil, as the dark. I love to mix and match my lens. And if you aren't sure something's going to work well just scribble it on a scrap piece of paper and, and just see how it works and if it does then write it down somewhere so you don't forget that oh you know pool party and boho look good together all right so this was dark lemon lolly and now i'm going to take my dark daffodil and i'm going to make it a little darker over on this side of the wheel okay those aside. They almost look like little um, records, don't they? Did you have records growing up? Long playing LPs or whatever? Um, that kind of ages you. Although I think they're kind of coming back. I don't know if they're making them again or, or people are just buying old ones. But Now this is just a dark daffodil and I'm just adding a little bit Kind of in the centers here, where it comes out of the center of the flower. And then I'm going to do the center of my flowers with the poppy. So our flowers are a totally different color. What I am going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of light, um, light pecan pie because that's what my um, wagon is. Just in case you can see a little bit of this underneath, I'm just going to put a little bit on that piece. All right. So now let's bring our leaves and I'm just going to do my leaves this time all the same color so we're just going to go lemon lime so this is the light lemon lime and then we'll 
finish it with a dark. So I put some pictures. I looked out the kitchen window this morning and there was a funny little bunny and he was digging in the grass, eating it of course, but then he'd dig a little deeper and he was laying in at the hole. So I think he was trying to find some cool, cool dirt in there. All right, so this is just light poppy parade. And I'm going to do that in my wheel as well. And then my dark poppy. There was also out there a rock squirrel. So I just happened to look out at the right time and I was, and I could see his tail by the tree and I was, and that's all I could see. And I'm like, what in the heck is that? And then he came out from behind the tree and he sat out there for a while and I was like, oh my gosh, the little um, rock squirrel is out here. And you wanna look, uh, look up rock, you can Google rock squirrel. They're different than the squirrels that I had growing up. Um, these ones, I believe people say, aren't super friendly. Like I don't think you'd wanna go try to feed it a nut. I think they may bite, I'm not for sure. Um, and I sure wouldn't want Winston to chase it because unlike the bunnies that he run, they run from him, I think it could like actually fight back, but I'm not sure. So usually I try to um, look out before I let Winston out. All right, so I'm gonna take a little light balmy blue um, because I have this white so see, I have this here. So my flowers are gonna go here. And I have that, you know, that little bit of balmy that I put around here. So we're not gonna see a lot of it. I probably should have um, put a little bit more than I did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some balmy on here to, um, to get rid of some of that white. So there's kind of like, a um, highlight or a low light. And what I could totally do, let me see if how good this side is. I could color the whole thing. So I probably should have did that first, but it was something I thought of. Cause this one is a little bit different than the one I did. Cause you know, I usually do one ahead of time. So I'll show you the other one. And then you can decide if you're gonna do this card. Um, which way you like better. So this is just going to hide some of that white. And it will soak in. But look how pretty that little blue is back there. It really makes that yellow on the flowers and the lime really pop. I'm just going all the way around there. So it's almost like we stamped on balmy cardstock. But if we just stamped on balmy cardstock, our flowers wouldn't have been as bright because they would have balmy behind them. So this is kind of a, a get around if you want it to look like you're on colored cardstock. You can just color it. But, so that looks cool, right? That looks really, really fun. All right, so we'll bring this over. So that's gonna go on there. And then our wheels, are gonna go on here. I'm just trying, I'm just kind of laying them to make sure I I don't need to do anything else. And then here's our little wagon that we added that little bit of um, embossing or uh, blends to. That looks super cute, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take my glue dots and I'm gonna put all these things on with glue dots, but our wagon, I'm gonna put that on with dimensionals. So we're gonna take a glue dot for our wheels. 
And I'm just going to put them right there. Okay, and see with our flowers. And I'm going to add a little gel pen as well, I think. Okay, so there's our cute little flower. So yeah, so you don't see a whole lot of that balmy blue. Um, you can see a little bit there maybe um, that I um, put on there first. All right, so now this is gonna go on top here. I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals. And I'm gonna come in a little bit because I wanna put that handle. So I wanna be able to scoot that handle up underneath my wagon so I don't want the dimensionals in the way. So there we have that. We also have this. I'm going to put that on with glue dots. A little bit different than the other card I did, the online card. Squish that on there so that it'll stick up just a little bit more than just with the green tip. Okay, and then we have our little handle. So I'm just wanted to stick it up underneath here so it's gonna kinda hang out the, the side of the card. So I'm gonna take some dimensionals and I'm just gonna put them along the side. So I'm gonna trim them from the edge. so that they're nice and skinny, just stick on there. And then you can kind of bend them. Now I don't want it to go all the way because I do want this to overhang the, um, I want it to hang out of my corner die. All right, but that's perfect, that little side of the dimensional packaging there. And then peel. And then I'm just gonna slide it up underneath, so that's why I kept that dimensional into the center so that I could do that, so it wasn't hit. If not, you can just trim this so that it doesn't stick up underneath there as much. But look how cute this is. All right, let's bring the card over. Let's do the inside really quick though. All right, so I have my basic white and my card. All right, so hold on here. I have a mess. Surprise, surprise. All right, so my card again is just um, crumb cake. I wanna make sure I pick the right piece. And I'm going to have my splatters go up the side. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp my greeting with Poppy. And I think I'm done with the con. Alright. So my little greeting is going to be you make my heart bloom. So the same greeting as I, as I used before, but this time I'm gonna stamp it with Poppy Parade. So you make my heart bloom. And then I die cut out a heart. We're gonna glue that right to the card. Give it a squish. I have green tip glue all over my fingers. All right, and I also had a tiny little, here it is. Excuse me, my allergies, ugh. Um, all right, so here is that little greeting from Keeping Tabs. And I'm gonna do that with Poppy Parade too. And this is just a little strip. I've talked about them before. When I'm cutting, oh, I need to stamp that better. Uh, when I'm cutting, my um, card, you know, I make this a little bit smaller 
I have these little strips, so I just keep them on my desk because they're perfect for um, little greetings like that. Oh my gosh, green tip glue all over my fingers. All right, now this is an old, old punch, but this is going to do my fishtail when I'm lazy, when I don't want to cut my own fishtails. You might even have that little punch in your cupboard. All right, so we have our Hello Friend. And I'm going to quickly get the Kleenex off to the side. So just talk amongst yourselves. Da -da -da -da, while I wipe my crazy um, nose. All right. Okay, back to the video. All right, so let's put our card together. Close that pad. All right. So we have all our pieces. So we have our card base here. Now I'm going to put this piece of crumb, but crumb on crumb, I can see it. And so I will you I will put it on with some dimensionals. But what I also want to do is I want to just scuff up the sides of it a little bit to um, make it look a little more rugged. Because, you know, this is kind of a fun, you know, organic -y card. You know, we've got a wagon. We've got um, what it looks like mud splattery designer series paper. So we're just going to scuff this up a little bit. So what it does is it also makes that cardstock look thicker. Doesn't it make it look thicker? Because you um, bent up at that edge of the card. All right, so I'm going to put this on with dimensionals because it is tone on tone. Just gonna go right in the center there. We have this on the inside of that card. That heart should be good and dry by now. So it's gonna go in this center. And I'm gonna get a gel pen. I'm gonna put a little bit of gel pen on our heart as well. So this is just one of the little dies that comes in the um, Guild with Fun. It has that little heart. It also has some cute little um, balloons. Um, it cuts out the presents. It cuts out even um, these wheel things that I colored, but it even has some little um, cutouts for those. So anyways, okay. But that's where I got the heart. So let's put this together over here before we put it on the card. All right, so I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to put it on with some dimensionals. I'm getting close to the end of my dimensionals. So what do we do? We just trim the edges and we use our edges. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Nobody is the wiser what is underneath there all right and then i want to put a little one in the center just so it doesn't sag on me okay there we go so we'll put that on our card and i'm just putting in the center here as close as i can look how cute you are all right, and then I want to do my hello friend. So I'm just going to kind of put that over here. And I'm only putting the dimensional on one side because it's going to overlap this right here. So I don't want it to hit and I want it to be, you know, even height wise as this. So it just rests on there. So it looks looks good. All right. And then this is going to get glued directly to that. I love that splattery. Because like I said, it goes with the Latte DSP. So it, I think it's supposed to be like coffee splatters maybe. But to me, it looks like mud. So I had to use it. All right. 
so that goes on there and I just used the green tip glue so it gives me a little wiggle room there but look how cute all right let me get my little gel pen out put a little gel pen here and there I didn't put any um, bling I mean I, I guess I totally could but I'm just gonna put some little dots in my flowers so my flowers have a little little dots in them so anyways all right so that looks pretty good I think so here's the one I did earlier just so you can see the difference so you can decide which you know if you will decide you're going to do this card if you're going to do it you know one way or the other so the differences to this card is this one here I stamped I you know I, I blending brushed with the balmy blue but then I stamped the flowers directly to my um, country corner die and colored them and then everything else was popped just like this card but I wanted to try this one a little bit differently just to um, give you you know a different version so I die cut it out the flowers so um, let me know what you think I think they're both cute I do love the look of that little that bright blue um, beneath the flowers and I feel that um, this way the flowers are a little darker because you are coloring them with that balmy blue ink underneath so it darkens them um, a little bit I didn't put any um, white gel pen on there or whatever but um, but yeah but and then the inside I just moved the heart so, but what you could do is you could, um, you could mask out this, you know, the word heart, mask that away so it doesn't stamp. You make my, make sure the heart doesn't stamp, and then you can glue the heart over it so that the heart is there instead of the word heart, and that is super cute. All right, so here was the catalog version and then my twist and I'll, I'll do the one that I did on camera so but um so let me know what you think it's super fun I like I said I'm going to do um some more online exclusives so that you don't miss out on them um because I think they will get lost all right hold on a second I'm just see you later alligator I do believe that um they might get lost in the shuffle is that such a thing does that make any sense what I'm talking about who knows right that could have a, be a saying for something totally not this. But um, but I was like, well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do um, some online exclusives because I, too, need to get them out, show them some love. I mean, I hate not using my stuff. What's worse is when I pull out the stuff, when I have my retired stuff, and I haven't even used it. I'm like, oh, my gosh, Diana, you were so excited to get that stamp set. And then you never even used it and now it's retired so I don't want that to happen so so I'm like if I make sure I use everything I order at least once <laughs> then it's worth it so anyways all right so I will see you tomorrow for my teach me Tuesdays that will be at three o'clock Arizona time same time same channel thanks so much and I'll see you tomorrow bye for now